Hi, today I want to compare three features of my Asus wireless routers, AI Mesh, Repeater and Access Point. I've already made a couple of videos about AI Mesh and Repeater and talked about how we can configure them on the wireless router. I put the links to those videos in the video description in case you want to check them out. But this video is more of a comparison and we're going to focus on their similarities and differences. So for now, let's only focus on the AI mesh and repeater and we will talk about the access point later. The purpose of both is to extend the range of the wireless network, but the way they actually do this is a little bit different. AI mesh is like a car with an automatic transmission. Well, in this car, for example, if I need to accelerate, I just need to put my foot a little bit on the gas and the car will automatically change the gears for me. So it's kind of easy, right? So it's actually AI Mesh. Let's say I have an Asus wireless router in my house, but unfortunately its wireless range is not enough and it cannot cover my whole house. So I go and buy another one. Then all I need to do is to connect this one to my current Wi-Fi using AI Mesh system. And it will automatically do the rest for me. That basically means the AI mesh system intelligently decides whether to use the 2.4 GHz band or the 5 GHz band for the connection between the wireless routers. And then it will automatically assign an IP address to the secondary router and finally it will configure it to broadcast the exact same SSIDs as the primary router. The repeater on the other hand is like a car with a manual transmission. Well, in this car, it is the driver's job to change the gears. More importantly, the driver has to know when and how to change the gears. There's also another pedal called clutch that can make things even more complicated. So overall, it is a little bit more difficult. So is actually the repeater. In the repeater mode, it is my job to decide whether to use the 2.4 GHz band or the 5 GHz band for the inter-router connection. Also, I should decide whether to assign a static IP address to the repeater or maybe let it receive an IP address automatically. Again, it is my decision to choose what SSIDs this is going to broadcast. Should it be the same as the primary router or maybe different? So now the question is which one is better, automatic transmission or manual transmission, AI mesh or repeater? And the answer is, it depends. While someone who maybe uses the car just to commute back and forth to work in a stop and go traffic might prefer the automatic transmission, another person who maybe drives for fun, maybe a race car driver would prefer the manual transmission. The same thing here. For example, if I want to be able to extend the range of my wireless network as simple as possible, maybe just copy what I already have here and paste it there, then I would prefer the AI mesh system. But let's say if I want to have more control over my secondary router, maybe configure it to broadcast a different SSID with a different password, then I would prefer the repeater. Okay, so now let me use this example so I can explain further. This is an AI mesh system here consisting of two ASUS wireless routers. The primary router is in AI mesh router mode and the secondary one is in the AI mesh node operation mode. So basically, in order to set up an AI mesh system, not only do both wireless routers have to be ASUS, but they also have to support AI mesh too. And not all ASUS wireless routers actually support AI mesh. Okay, so we already know that the AI mesh system would intelligently choose the best wireless band for the inter-router communication. We also know that the secondary router would copy the primary router's Wi-Fi and broadcast the exact same SSIDs. But if I want, I can also connect the routers using an Ethernet cable too. This way the AI mesh system has actually three options to choose from for the inter-router connection. This wired option is actually not available in the repeater mode because a repeater uses a wireless network to connect to the primary router. It is actually an access point that uses a wired connection to the primary router. Okay, so I think we can say that the ASUS AI mesh system is kind of like if we combine the access point and the repeater features together and then add some level of intelligence. So it can help us to make some decisions automatically. Therefore, it requires less networking knowledge. It is easier to set up and even easier to scale. 
For example, here I can simply add another AI mesh node if I need to, and the system will automatically find the best connection to the primary router. Let's say if for any reason this cable goes bad, then it will automatically switch to the wireless and everybody stays connected. And even if this node goes down, this one automatically tries to find an alternative way to connect to the primary router. I can also implement the same scenario, but with the help of the repeater and access point features of the ASUS wireless router. First off, when I use the access point or the repeater features of my ASUS wireless router, the primary router doesn't necessarily have to be ASUS, it can be any other brand too. I have the option to run a cable between these two, so I'm going to set up this one as an access point. But I cannot run a cable for this one, so I'm going to use it as a repeater. So when I use this one in an AP mode, not only do I have the option to choose a different SSID name and password, but I can also make sure they are on different channels too. This can prevent any interference between these two networks. In the AI mesh mode though, these two would be broadcasting on the same channel which can cause interference. So now let's say if for any reason this cable gets disconnected, then the AI mesh system is capable of immediately fixing the problem by switching to the wireless network. But if the same thing happens when this one is in the AP mode, then there will be some downtime until actually somebody replace or reconnect the cable. I'm also very interested in testing the roaming when these are in the AP and repeater modes. I've already tested it in the AI mesh system and I want to see how it works in the AP and repeater modes too. So what I'm gonna do is to make another video and try to implement the same scenario in my house, but once by using the AI mesh system and once by using the repeater and access point, and then do some tests so I can actually compare and test them in action. So if you are interested to see that video, please make sure you have subscribed to my channel and you have activated this bell so you receive a notification as soon as the video is ready. Thank you so much for watching this video, hope you liked it. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section right below the like button. Thank you again and I see you next time.